Hey guys, it's Klaus. You know, I hate big, slow, heavy tanks. Look at this. I've got the E100. This is the first tier 10 that I ever got. And I thought, oh, I've got a tier 10 super heavy now. Wow. You know, I'm the big guy. Little did I know in those early days that the big super tanks, the super heavies, are utterly fucking useless. It was utterly useless a year and a half ago when I got this thing, and it's even more fucking useless today. Because now, in this game, you have to have speed, and, uh, yeah, you basically have to have speed. If you don't, you're basically screwed. Now, in these super heavies these days, the only time you have a freaking chance is, uh, a city map. Basically, and I'm talking about public games, not talking about clan wars or specialty games where you can actually work with your teammates and one super heavy can hold a corner because the rest of your team is working with you to support you, right? I'm talking about the regular pub games. And I'm showing you a regular game here. This is as good as it gets, I think, for the E100 anyway. You know, uh, playing a game in a city map, right? Shooting heat like a motherfucker and uh, trying my best in the E100 to have a good game. And you gotta remember, there's probably, what, four or five uh, good city maps. Himmelsdorf, uh, uh, Winterburg, maybe Paris. There's four or five of them out of 50. So about 10% of the maps uh, are city maps, so there's some cover for you. Where you can side scrape, use your, uh, uh, or what's the other one, Ensk. Well, half of it is field, so you can get screwed. But basically, 10% of the maps, yeah, you'll be okay in your super heavy tank. Any other uh, 45 out of 50 maps, I don't even know how many maps there are, I think there's like 40, 50 maps, so 90% of them that have uh, any open areas where you can be spotted at a distance, uh, you're screwed, right? Because the medium tanks and light tanks can run around quickly, uh, and they have camo, and you cannot run around quickly, and you do not have camo, and they will spot you from wherever, because you have zero camo, and you're big stupid heavy, uh, and then they'll press number two and shoot you from 450 meters away and pen you from the front because when they press two twice, you know, if they're in a Russian medium tank, they have 330 pen uh, heat that does not lose penetration over distance and they just shoot right through you because your armor, you know, is fucking meaningless. Like this guy in his super heavy, I just press two and just shoot right through him, right? But, okay, so uh, maybe 10% of the maps our city map, so you can have a good game 10% of the time, but, you know, even if you're on a city map, uh, if there's three artilleries, they can still hit you, so, you know, some of those games are no good, or, or if you have a useless team that uh, rushes ahead of you and dies, or rushes ahead of you and wins, and you're the slow, stupid heavy in the back, you either, you know, they either win and you do nothing, or they all die, and then, then you die alone. So that happens, what, 20% of the time, maybe? Or sometimes you have a team that, uh, you know, they all hide at the spawn behind you, and uh, they let you push up, and they sit way at the back, kind of out of the way, where they can't support. And, and then you try your best, but you die and lose. That happens, you know, what, 20% of the time? Or, or if you have a team that, like, a, the whole team goes down the one line, right? You can follow them and do nothing because you're the slowest and they'll kill everyone and you do nothing. Or you can go, you know, protect the other flank by yourself and and then die because they all went the other way. That happens about 10, 20% of the time. So, you know, generally, if you like to have good games, one out of 20 or 30 games, uh, then you can play a super heavy. And when you have the conditions where you're in a city map, and your team isn't a, a complete, total, uh, utter collection of Muppets, uh, and you do have some cover, like I do in the city map here, you can, you know, you can try your best to shoot your big gun and do some damage. And uh, you know, you, you're competitive because, you know, you're in a city map, they have to come around corners to shoot you, you can side scrape, you know, look, I bounced a shot, whoa, yeah, yeah. super heavy, right? But if you're in any other map, you're, you're screwed. And let's just watch them. What am I doing here? I'm just, you know, trying my best in Heavy Tank Alley. But the team has a... This is, this is, I think, as good as it gets in the E100. We've racked up some damage here, but... Yeah, I cannot relocate. I cannot go anywhere else to, 
I cannot move. I'm kind of stuck here because, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, reverse out of here at five kilometers an hour, right? I'm going to poke around the corner into the big TD. No, I'm going to have to try and shoot him, but the fucking gun doesn't, it doesn't really aim properly because it's a super heavy gun. And now there's guys behind us. There's guys in front of us. They're going to make the last stand here. Going to side scrape like a boss here. Use that armor. Oh, I guess he pressed two. I'm screwed. Well, I get one more shot here. Yeah, okay, what are we going to do here? Is anyone left on the team? Yeah, there's one guy here. Come on, buddy. We're going to win this one. We're in our super heavies. You know, even the Russian. If you get the, the Russian heavies, the, uh, the IS-7, the IS-4, those guys are faster than some medium tanks and actually have better camel than some medium tanks. So being in a Russian uh, tier 10 heavy tank is actually better than being in some nation's medium tanks. But, okay, well, this is a pretty good game in the E100. Look at this, uh, you know, racking up the damage, almost 6,000, over 6,000 damage and block 4,000 damage. And, uh, you know, well, you know, this is as good as it gets. Here we go. Yeah, let's turn around. Oh, well. That was a good game. That That's a great game in the E100. 6,000 damage and 4,000 blocked. You know, did my job as a heavy tank. Uh, there was no artillery, wasn't in an open field, got a city map, everything lined up. But, uh, you know, one out of 20 times where the uh, stars aligned, it's a loss anyway. That's as good as it gets. Now, this is the more typical game in the E100. Uh, this is what most games are, are like. Now, I showed you the 1 out of 25, 1 out of 30, 1 out of 50 games that you have. But the 99 out of 100, or let's, you know, 80 out of 100 games are like this. You know, you have an open map. The game starts and you immediately start running away to get away from the enemy to avoid being spotted. So you just hightail it away as far as you can because you have no camo and you're slow, uh, but you get spotted anyway. But you just run as fast as you can to get out of range of the enemy. Because uh, when you know, you're know you in an E100 or a mouse, you got to get the hell out of there. Medium tanks can just press to... Oh! Oh, and you lose 600 HP right at the beginning of the game because you can't run away fast enough. And if I actually move towards the enemy, I would be dead by now. So what the hell do I do in this game? Run away like a pussy. Lose 600 HP in the first 15 seconds. And thank God there's not three artilleries in this game. If there were three artilleries in this game, I would I would probably be either dead or, uh, or, or, or down to like three or 400 HP. So let's move the big, huge, lumbering, pathetic body of this slow, useless beast towards my teammates, try my best. There's nothing I can do in the 30 out of 40 maps that are, you know, have open sight lines uh, with artillery, with bushes, so that medium tanks can hide and you can't see them and they can shoot you. Let's just slowly trudge our way up the hill here. Just make our way up slowly, pathetically. Here we go. Here we go. Thank God that artillery missed me and only did 600. You know, maybe when they rebalance artillery, I'll, I'll just get stunned four or five times, right? Instead of losing 600 HP, I'll lose, I'll lose four or 500 HP and then be stunned. And while I'm stunned, then the medium tanks could take me out. <laughs> so the fighting's going on on the hill and I'm, you know, slowly trudging my way up here, trying to come, trying to help guys, I'm coming. Here we go, I'm in the big, super heavy, yeah, I'm coming. Well, now look, the, the hill is cleared. My, my team is on the hill. There's no enemies on the hill. So, all right, well, let's try and poke up this way, I guess, because by the time I get up that hill, fucking game will be over. This is more typical. Let's see what happens here. Maybe trudge my way into range so that I can at least, at least push around this rock. Oh, look, we spotted an enemy. Who, who is it? Who could it be? Oh, it's the enemy E-100, the pathetic, useless, super heavy. Oh, he's the first guy on the enemy team to get spotted and shot. So I got my 7-800 damage. Well, let's reload this gun. Hey, enemy E-100, uh, 
Why were you stupid enough to actually move up and try and take some shots in this game? You actually moved up and tried to get in the game? Well, that's the first mistake you made. The second mistake you made was not to immediately run away and go hide behind your artillery. Because if you're in a super heavy, a big super heavy, and you don't retreat immediately, you know what's going to happen? Let's look. Let's poke around and try and take one more shot on you. Try and aim my gun here. Hold still. Hold still. Maybe we... I don't want to miss this shot because it takes me 16 seconds to reload. Uh, oh, oh. Well, my buddy's up on the hill. Press 2 and shot you from 400 meters and killed you. Yeah. Great. Let's fast forward a little bit in this game and see what happens. Well, after moving halfway up the hill and watching my team die in front of me before I could get up the hill, I come back to this little rock here to defend the base because our team is dying. And I have to get into range here and got some HE load at the secret weapon for this big tank because you can just uh, do like 100 damage with your HE shell on someone. <laughs> oh, but I'm spotted now, so there's some medium tanks that have pressed number two uh, that can just... You know, doesn't really matter if you have armor. You're just going to get hit. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this is typical. See, this is what happens when you have a super heavily armored heavy tank. <laughs> what an utter piece of shit. Uh, since they invented the number two key that you can press twice in this game, armor is utterly fucking useless. Well, let's just hide in the bushes here and try and protect our artillery because, you know, getting spotted and poking out anywhere on this map means instantly getting shot by everyone. And let's let's shoot this tank in the side with HE because we can do a lot of damage with HE, especially with this huge gun. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, well, got screwed there. Oh, well, that didn't work out. It's okay. We, we reload here in 38 seconds. Because we were ammo racked uh, from a couple of medium tanks from 500 meters away. Don't worry, buddy. I got your back. Another 20 seconds, I'll be reloaded. Oh, oh, I guess you're dead. Oh, looks like I'm almost dead too. Oh, look, my armor's holding up. I'm bouncing some shots. Hey, we're, we're doing some bouncing here. Hey, things are looking up. All right, uh, am I reloaded? There we go, reloaded. Uh, we're, who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Let's just poke up the power, the awesome power of the heat. Oh, well, I guess my turret doesn't really turn very fast. Uh, let's get that turret turned around, maybe shoot you. Oh, thanks, buddy, thanks. Yeah, I need, I couldn't really turn my turret fast enough to handle him. Let's just... Uh... Oh. oh, yeah, forgot about that artillery. Sorry, buddy. And that's what you're average typical game is like in the super heavy class of tanks the super shit at least 80 percent of the time i know i know you can have the odd epic game but if you like to be just a pathetic useless tank 80 percent of the time then be my guest grind the super heavies